Billy Hamilton for inspiration, with Hamilton himself given a tremendous boost by his inclusion yesterday in Northern Ireland's World Cup squad. He stands in for Jeremy Charles. It's only his third league game after a seven-month absence. Steve Perryman, who wasn't eligible for the Milk Cup final, continues as sweeper, but the former Tottenham captain has yet to be on the winning side for his new club. Everton's morning training session revealed that Pat van den Howe has shaken off the bruising effects of Saturday's visit to Nottingham Forest, but Peter Reid's progress hasn't been quite so speedy, so Kevin Richardson wears the number six shirt. Referee Don Shaw comes from Sandbach in Cheshire. Oxford United have slumped into trouble largely because of a desperate run of home form. They've not won a league game here at the Manor since Boxing Day. And this on a ground where they were used to intimidating their opponents, really, in their triumphant march from the third division to the first. Stevens covering. Vanden Howe's problem was a bruised calf, which had him at half pace at the city ground for the second half on Saturday. Hamilton, whose injury worries have been much more serious. Sheedy. Truick, who's not a natural defender, doing well in the air then. And here is John Truick. It's a lovely ball for Harton. Aldridge is inside him, and he went the direct route. And Aldridge is disappointing. It was pretty well hit by Ray Harton. And I think he was quite entitled to shoot. But it was a good chance for Oxford. Suddenly they had three against one. Sheedy. Sharp. And Richardson looking to knock it back across the face of the goal. And Shotton's first touch was a little unsure. As Lineker was darting in. And he had to stab it away at the very last. That was a beautiful example of the skill of Sheedy to pick out a front player who was sharp. Richardson was involved. And then Shotton stumbled but recovered. Phillips. Houghton took it away from Stevens, who rather hesitated. Oxford needing players in the middle now. Hebert is one. The header from Hebert, but it's an interesting role that Ray Houghton is playing here. Given freedom from the left-hand side of midfield to get forward when the player's on the opposite side, and he nicked the ball away from Gary Stevens, sensibly looked up, waited for Hebert to arrive, but the header from the edge of the area was passing wide. Stephen. Sheedy. The early ball towards Sharp, and it was bent in wickedly by Sheedy. Just took a, an awkward hop, really, for Graham Sharp off the rutted surface around the penalty spot. But Kevin Sheedy's ability to supply the ammunition for Everton, already conspicuous here. half but surely both sides will be looking for more of a punch in the 45 minutes that remain it's not been a busy match so far for either of the goalkeepers
Stephen. Here's Sharp, drawing shot out of the middle. Help from Gary Stevens. Brandon Howe. Still leaving Aldridge and Hamilton upfield. Everyone else bent on winning the ball back. And Houghton sending it long for Aldridge to chase. And Harris Mountfield. And there it goes again. And Mountfield under pressure again. Phillips and Mims looking for his seventh consecutive clean sheet in the first division. Again showing the calibre of his goalkeeping. Very well hit by Phillips and very well stopped by Bobby Mims. Lineker has got behind shot. Gary Lineker for Everton tried to lift it over Judge. Goalkeeper got close to the player of the year. And his body saved Oxford after Lineker had won that battle, but couldn't finish. Face to face with Gary Lineker is the goalkeeper's moment of truth. And Judge came through it well. So the three points still very much in the melting pot here. Richardson. Long from Shotton. Hamilton couldn't quite make contact. Lineker. And Sheedy found by Bracewell. And Judge again performs well. The ball bouncing just in front of him from Sheedy. It's the sort of save that goalkeepers fear of because the ball can skip away from them on the bounce. But Judge was sure in his handling. Phillips wanted to take the free kick quickly and then saw Hebbard needing to draw breath and was a little slow to pick himself up. He's OK now. Hamilton! Aldridge couldn't follow it in. He could have hardly have made a more determined effort. But Billy Hamilton, much loved here at the Manor, looking to repay his many fans here with his first goal for eight months at the top of the crossbar. Shot. Ratcliffe misjudged the header, Aldridge. And Aldridge thinks that Mountfield handled, but the referee thinks otherwise. He was trying to lift the ball over Derek Mountfield to have a clear run in on goal. Ball by Stevens to Sheedy. Lineker! It's a corner with Sharp and Richardson coming in for the kill. And Everton anxious to keep the game going. Mountfield, then Richardson, Derek Mountfield, and it's Billy Hamilton who boots it away. Well, Hamilton has skimmed the bar at one end and was back defending to great effect for Oxford then. Well, here comes Adrian Heath back on the ground where just over two years ago he scored a milk cup equaliser for Everton that's well remembered on Merseyside as the turning point for Howard Kendall. And Houghton finding Aldridge who's lured the goalkeeper out. Hamilton! Stevens got it away incredibly. Well may he shake his head. It looked as though Houghton had played the ball too far ahead of John Aldridge, but look how far Mims had come. He was nowhere as the ball was flipped over him. Hamilton headed, it seemed, for goal. Stevens got it up and onto the bar and out. Ratcliffe. Hamilton. Here's Langham. Phillips, Oxford. 
Watford finishing strongly. Houghton! Was it over the line? The referee says no. And Everton are hanging on here by their fingertips. A splendid ball in from Langham. From Phillips, rather, from Langham's pass. And Houghton so close, and it was Mims who rescued Everton. Langham! Side, Sharp and Lineker. Stevens hurls it long again. Came off Hebert. Heath, brilliant work from Judge. He may not be the strongest goalkeeper in the league on crosses, but his shot stopping is first class. His handling there denied Adrian Heath. Oxford looking for a rally now. They're biting their nails on the Everton bench. McKeaton. And here's Hamilton. Given time to set up Phillips. Oxford United have a goal that could mean first division survival. And could mean championship race for Everton. Two minutes left and Everton allowed Hamilton to control and cleverly pick his pass and Les Phillips finished superbly. And now Everton have to just charge forward and hope. And here's Heath and Lineker. Les Phillips hadn't scored a league goal for Oxford United until last Saturday, and that was in a losing cause. But he's put the frown now onto the brow of Howard Kendall. It's a picture that barely needs a word. He's seeing the championship disappear. Or is he? picture of Howard Kendall on the Everton bench just before the end I think said it all that really opens things up now Everton a crushing blow for them will be probably thrilled me more than any other result I've ever had in my entire life in more than the Milk Cup final yeah far more always. why well because to me it was more important it's more important for Oxford to stay in the first division um, for everyone's point of view from the supporters point of view from the players, from Mr Maxwell, who um, has done very well for Oxford United. It's very important that we stay in the first division. 
Well, uh, Morris also confirmed for us tonight that he'll be seeing Chairman Robert Maxwell in the next few days about a contract. He looks as though the reluctant manager 